Hi everybody, and thanks for tuning in to this week's yoga video. Today we're going to be doing a sequence to prepare you for splits. I suggest that you are warmed up before you begin this video um, because I just think it, it's really important to be very warm throughout your hips. So do a hip opening video or a total body warm up first and then start this video. I'm going to be using two cork yoga blocks. You don't need to have yoga blocks in order to do this. You could just simply do it without or do it with something similar that you found in your home. I'm also going to be wearing socks. You don't need to wear socks. I just find that it's easier to slide in and out of splits while wearing socks. Be mindful that you need to have a decent amount of strength in order to slide in and out of splits. So if you don't have the strength, I would suggest not wearing socks. Um, and I'm also not going to be using a yoga mat because I'm gonna be sliding around. Um, I suggest giving it a try, um, not using the yoga mats. And if you're not wearing socks, just kind of shuffle in and out of um, the movements and see how you do. Just approach the whole practice with a sense of play, a sense of lightheartedness, not worrying about the outcome. When you're ready, have a seat on the ground and let's get started. So to begin, come into a comfortable seated position, roll your shoulders back, turn your palms up to the sky, close your eyes, draw your navel in towards your spine and then up slightly. And as you take a deep breath in, grow long through your spine. As you exhale, relax your shoulders away from your ears, exhale through your mouth, just letting go of anything you're holding on to that you no longer need. Begin to breathe deeply in and out through your nose. And as you do this, see if you can let go of the chatter in your head, of any to-do lists, anything that happened earlier, anything that's gonna happen later. Just let your mind be comfortably quiet. Without actually smiling, bring the sensation of a smile to your face. Making a commitment to stay lighthearted throughout the practice. No expectations, just letting whatever happens happen. Knowing that you showed up and that's all you really needed to do today. On your next inhale, quietly open up your eyes, lift your arms up overhead, look up. And as you exhale, bring your left arm out in front, right arm back in back behind you, gently glance over your right shoulder, and then inhale, look up, exhale, other side, inhale, look up, exhale, put the hands on the ground out in front of you, we're going to come up and over the knees, taking a wide leg, child's pose. So reach your arms out in front, reach your heels down towards, uh, sorry, your, your hips down towards your heels. Deep breath in, filling your belly um, expand, and as you exhale, feeling your belly contract. On your next inhale, round forward onto all fours. Come into a neutral spine, and just kind of shake your head out a little, let your head go, no tension in your neck. And as you inhale, lift your head slightly, coming back into a neutral spine. And exhale fully. Deep breath in, lift your head, lift your tailbone. Exhale, round. Push the ground away from you. Inhale, lift. Exhale, push. Inhale, lift. Exhale, push. On your next inhale, curl your toes, coming into your first downward facing dog. Now, if you're wearing socks, you may be sliding around. If you don't, if you're not able to control your uh, slide, just take your socks off for right now. Otherwise, come into your downward facing dog. Let your head go. 
Spin the inner thighs up towards the sky. Press evenly into your fingers. Reach your heels down to the ground, but no worries if they don't get there. And as you inhale, lift your right leg high. And as you exhale, step your right leg to the front of the non-existent mat and set your left knee down. And as you inhale, rise up. And as you exhale, press your hips forward. Your hands can be to your hips. And then from here, you're gonna kind of drop your elbows back behind you a little and lift your heart. So in doing this, you're creating a little mini back bend. No compression on the low back, breathing into the left hip flexor. Make sure that your back toes are curled. So the right big toe is pressed into the ground. Lift your heart even more. You can even take your glance up if you'd like. And then as you inhale, lift your arms up overhead. And as you exhale, take goddess arms. So 90 degrees. Palms facing up to the sky. And on your next inhale, take the fingertips down to the ground and lift the back knee up. Lift your right arm, look up. Right fingers come down, plant the hands into the ground, step back for plank pose. Move through your vinyasa. We'll meet in downward dog. Shake your head out. And as you inhale, lift your left leg high. Step forward. Bring the right knee down to the ground. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, press your hips forward. Hands to your hips, elbows back behind you. Lift your heart, look up. Breathe. With each breath, finding length through your spine. Right toes are curled. And as you inhale, bring the fingertips down, lift the back knee, lift your left arm, look up. One long line of energy from fingertips to fingertips. And as you exhale, plant the hands, come into plank pose. And from here, use your core strength to slide your feet to meet your hands. Once you're there, you're gonna bend your knees and then heel toe your feet so that they're a little bit wider than hip distance. Grab opposite elbows, let your head hang heavy. Your whole upper body is heavy. And see what happens if you rock forward and backward. Just notice how that feels on your hamstrings. From here, let your hands come down to the ground. Turn your toes out away from you, so they're about 45 degrees out, and then begin to sit low. If you need to come up onto your heels, you can do that. Sit low till you come into a squat position. Hands to your heart, press your elbows into your legs to open them up even more. If you wanna come all the way down, it's a little bit more challenging, but go ahead and give it a try if you'd like. You're gonna keep pressing with your elbows to open up the inner thighs. Your entire back is long, your chest is nice and broad. Looking out in front of you, take a deep breath in. Exhale fully. And then from here, we're gonna bring the hands down in front and you're gonna slide yourself back a little bit, bringing your knees down onto the ground. Coming into frog position here. If this is too much for your knees, you can place a blanket underneath each knee joint. From here, you're just gonna breathe, let your hips sink and be heavy. Forearms on the ground. Breathing into your inner thighs. The key with flexibility is patience and consistency. So make a mental note every day to just stretch for one minute, two minutes, whatever you can handle whatever fits into your schedule. And with consistency, even if it's just two or three minutes a day, you'll see a difference. On your next inhale, press into your forearms to send your hips forward, coming to lie down on your stomach. And from here, you're gonna press yourself back into child's pose. As you inhale, round forward, coming onto all fours, then curl your toes and lift up for downward facing dog. On your next inhale, lift your right leg high. And then bring your knee into your forehead, shoulders over wrists and then slowly take the right shin down to the ground for pigeon pose. 
A lot of people ask me if your right knee needs to be 90 degrees. Textbook, yes, but real life, no. So you never want to force anything with your knee. You just want to do what feels right for you. You should never feel any pinching or pain sensation. If you're really up high, you might want to place one of those yoga blocks um, just underneath the sitting bone. You don't want to shove it in there. You just want to have it just gently underneath so that it guides your hips to stay forward. If you're up facing one side, like if you're facing out to the left, it just means you're very tight in your left hip flexor. You want your hips facing forward. Once you're here, roll your shoulders back and then bring your fingers underneath your shoulders. This is called pigeon pose. So you can think about puffing the chest out like a pigeon. And as you breathe, you wanna breathe through the hip flexor and then you wanna think about having length through your spine. So you shouldn't feel any compression in your low spine, any pinching sensation in your low back. Deep breath in. Exhale fully. On your next deep breath in, you can see what happens when you just lift the back leg. For some of you, that won't happen. You might be here, that's totally fine. Do what's within your range. Honor what you're able to do. Be honest with what you can do. And move gently and with mindfulness. From here, we're gonna gently release and then slide the forearms out in front. Maybe you wanna slide all the way down. Whatever works for you, do that. When we come out in front into this part B position, you're gonna feel the focus now on the back of the right hip. So you're no longer breathing into the left hip flexor, but you're breathing into the back of the right hip. With each breath, see if you can comb through any tension that you're feeling. And from here, you're gonna walk your arms back up and curl your back toes, lift the knee, come back into downward facing dog. Deep breath in, full breath out. Taking it to the other side, lift the left leg high, knee into forehead, shoulders over wrist, and then bring your left leg down, left shin out in front of you. Does it have to be 90 degrees? No. Could it be? Surely. But you want to be really mindful. You want to not feel any pain in your left knee. Hips are facing forward. That's the most important part is that your hips are facing forward. If you need to, slide a yoga block underneath your left sitting bone so that your hips are facing forward. Puff the chest out, roll the shoulders back. Breathe into the whole front body, finding length through the whole front body, finding length through the whole spine. And as you're breathing here, you can see what happens when you pick your back leg up. You might notice that one side is tighter than the other, that's okay. And when you're ready, slowly come out in front with the forearms. You might want to stay here. You might want to come all the way out. You might want to stack your forearms and rest your head. Whatever works for you, do that. And then breathe into the back of your left hip. As you inhale, rise up, hands underneath your shoulders, curl your back toes, lift the knee, slide yourself back into downward facing dog, and as you inhale, lift your right leg high. Send your right foot to the front of the non-existent mat and come down with your back knee. You're gonna take one of those yoga blocks and bring it into the inside of the right foot as you shimmy the right foot out to the right a little bit. We're coming into lizard pose here. This is really intense for a lot of people, so you have the option to be here on the block you can be up here. You could even use both if you wanna be up here on the block. Or if you're quite open, maybe you don't need the block and you come all the way down. Wherever you are, let that be enough. Don't worry about what you are or not able to do. Let go of the idea that you're supposed to be somewhere by now. Just let wherever you are be fine. As you inhale, rise up, 
Take the right hand to the outside of the right foot, shimmy the right foot into the left a little bit. Pick your back knee up, slide yourself back into plank pose, then downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up and we'll take it to the other side. Again, option to use the blocks if you'd like. Shimmy your left foot to the left a little bit and then come down wherever works for you. As you inhale, come back onto your hands. Take the left hand to the outside. Shimmy the left foot in a little bit. Lift the back knee up. Slide back out to plank. Lift up into downward facing dog. On your next inhale, you're gonna take a little walk forward to the front of the non-existent mat and come to sit down on your butt with your legs out in front. Remove the flesh from underneath. Flex your feet, roll your shoulders back. Bring your arms out in front. Maybe you're here. Maybe you're up over top. Wherever you are, ripple up through your spine. Long spine, look out in front of you, long arms. As you exhale, pull using your arm strength to get your stomach down towards your thigh. I don't care about your head being down to your feet or your knees, who cares about that? Instead, look out in front of you and worry about getting your stomach down to your thighs. So deep breath in, long. Exhale, stomach to thighs. Deep breath in, long spine. Exhale, stomach to thighs. Find movement with each breath that you take. And on your next inhale, rise up. You're gonna swing your legs back behind you very slowly. And now we're gonna get right into it and come into downward facing dog. From here, walk your hands back, put a little bend in your knees, and then take your blocks, if you're using them, and put them to either side of where your mat would be. So a little bit wider than shoulder distance. Come back into downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, lift your right leg. As you exhale, step your right foot to the front of the non-existent mat, and from here, you're just gonna slowly begin to slide. When you get kind of low, you can set your left knee down, lift your head up, and then grab hold of your blocks, and then slowly begin to slide your right leg forward. Keep your back toes curled, because that's very helpful so, uh, for control. So you're just gonna lower down to wherever feels good for you. Maybe you won't get all the way down, that's fine. Maybe you will, and that's fine too, who cares? Wherever you are, roll your shoulders back. You wanna have your hips facing forward. They will naturally open up, especially if you're tight. From here, you're gonna curl your back toes and we're gonna use the core strength to push into the blocks to lift yourself up and then slide your right leg back and switch legs. So your left leg comes forward, right knee comes back down. Right toes are curled, remember. Slide your left leg out in front of you. Bring your blocks so they are in line with your shoulders and begin to lower yourself down. Moving slowly, mindfully, and breathe. When you're ready to switch, you're gonna use your core strength to press into the mat, or press into the blocks, curl your back toes, and use your core strength to lift yourself up and scissor your legs and slide out in front. You're gonna do it again. and switch when you're ready. Do one more time each side, switch. And switch. switch. From here,
here, bring your feet together, set the blocks out to the side, take the feet a little bit wider than hip distance, come into ragdoll pose. Imagine that if you had a mirror to your side, you could see that your hips are in line with your ankle joints. So a little micro bend in the leg. And on your next inhale, begin to bend your knees deeply. Come to sit all the way down. Cross your legs out in front of you. And bring your hands down to your thighs, palms facing up. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale fully through your mouth. And just take a second to acknowledge your practice. And without actually smiling, bring the sensation of a smile to your face. And when you're ready, go ahead and sail in your practice with Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in pre-ordering my book, Namaste, it is now available on pre-order for Amazon, and I will put the link right here. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below, and I will do my best to be in touch. Thank you.